This is Erica Lopez and Ty Dickinson from the University of Oklahoma Weather Lab with your weekly regional forecast starting on Friday, November 10th, 2017. In this one, we discuss the newest CPC discussion on La Nina in addition to our normal podcast. We don't want to keep you waiting, so thanks for tuning in and let's get started. Above normal probabilities dominate most of the United States with probabilities in excess of 70% for the southern plains and southwest. These above normal probabilities are in association with a weak upper air ridge. Similarly, weak troughing is forecast for Canada and the High Plains, tilting odds towards below normal in Montana. The eastern seaboard of the United States is forecast for near normal temperatures due to a variable temperature pattern. Upper air flow is forecast to turn more westerly in week two, aiding in causing upper air patterns consistent with normal temperatures. As a result, the central and western conus has odds tilted towards above normal for temperatures. Probabilities are as high as about 70% in the southwest. Below normal probabilities are favored in parts of the southeast due to expected northerly flow into the region. Overall temperature anomalies are forecast to be highest in central Texas. Shifting to precipitation, above normal precipitation is favored in the Pacific Northwest and in the Great Lakes regions. Probabilities are around 50% in the northwest ahead of an up, a forecast upper air trough in the eastern Pacific. The majority of the remaining parts of the conus are forecast to remain dry in days 6 to 10, so below normal precipitation is favored. The precipitation outlook for days 8 to 14 is very similar to days 6 to 10, and the discussion is also similar. Above normal probabilities along the Great Lakes region is forecast to come from lake effect snow. Again, the Northwest has probabilities as high as 50s for above normal precipitation. The highest odds for below normal precipitation are also in the 50s in the panhandle of Texas into New Mexico and Colorado as a majority of the conus is forecast to be mostly dry. The updated drought monitor brings several changes since last week. Short-term drought conditions continue to affect central and north Texas, so D0 and D1 drought areas were added accordingly. D0 drought has also been added in southern Oklahoma. Much of Arkansas is now experiencing severe drought as D2 areas were added in southwestern and northern parts of the state. Current outlooks moving forward do not help this region as dry conditions are expected. On November 9th, the Climate Prediction Center issued a La Nina advisory. La Nina conditions are beginning to emerge in the Pacific Ocean in both the ocean and the atmosphere. The current forecast is for probabilities between 65 to 75 percent for La Nina conditions to continue through the Northern Hemisphere winter. The consensus of the forecasters is for this event to persist through approximately February to April of next year. What does this mean for the U.S.? La Nina winters generally favor above normal temperatures and below normal precipitation across the southern tier of the United States, and below normal temperatures and above normal precipitation across the northern tier of the United States. Seasonal outlooks will be updated by the CPC next week, so we will have to see how consistent these outlooks are with the typical La Nina conditions. Once again, this podcast is brought to you by the University of Oklahoma Weather Lab, a top academic weather and research program in the United States and partner of the Southern Climate Impacts Planning Program. Watch for your forecast Fridays on the Oklahoma Weather Lab channel on YouTube.